Okay. Well, the Tampa Bay Times reports that Governor DeSantis is proclaiming that the Tampa Bay region is no longer a toss-up, politically speaking, that is. The governor is citing voter registration numbers posted this on social media. Prior to 2021, Florida never had more registered Republicans than Democrats, but now a million voter R registration advantage is within reach. Hillsborough is about to flip from D to R, which will mean every county in the Tampa Bay market has an R advantage in this previously swing region of the state. And the Tampa Bay area went solidly for DeSantis during his 2022 blowout re-election win against Democrat Charlie Crist. And Republicans have since made significant gains in voter registration in Pinellas and Hillsborough counties. The governor's declaration comes as the White House announced that President Joe Biden will be visiting Tampa this coming Tuesday. So why are the Democrats, Julie, making so many gains? The Democrats? The, the Republicans. <laughs> Why are the no, the Republicans, exactly. Well, we have so many Hispanics. I'm, I'm going to talk as a minority for a second. And, you know, we are about faith, family, and freedom. And all of that nonsense got to stop because we believe on conservative values. So, therefore, you know, people that are actually wanting their vote to count, now they are switching or they are coming from all these blue states that now they're saying, oh no, Florida, it's about my kids, it's about my country, no. What, what is, is it about Democrats that uh, uh, Latinos uh, feel don't appeal to faith, family, and freedom? Well, they have way too many topics that are against our Christian values and about our children. With, when it comes to family, that is a priority for Latinos. And the same way, you know, we came here escaping communism, socialism, dictators, etc., terrorism, living in fear. So we came to the land of the free precisely to be one. We acquire our American citizenship with pride. Uh, Craig, this area uh, was uh, strong for President Obama, uh, even yeah. for most Democratic presidential candidates uh, in years past. Why do you think the change is happening? Well, the change in voter registration, I think Julie is right about part of it. It would be a lot of people moving from the Northeast and progressive areas. You'd say, well, that would bring more Democrats. No, during the pandemic, in the age of telecommuting, when they were no longer tethered to living in a specific area, many who may have disagreed with policies of their government leaders decided that they could move south to Florida. That's why the data shows we statistically statistically saw more conservatives and more Republicans moving to Florida. Also, a big part of this has been prior Democratic Party management frankly failing and failing badly in terms of messaging. Uh, their economic message that they're there for the working people just did not get through to the voters and also in terms of logistics. They ran miserable get out the vote efforts. They had little to no ground game and it showed over and over again. Having said that though, there is new management now that's relatively untested. So did we'll pretty see. well last year in Jacksonville, didn't they? Let, let's bring Natasha in. Natasha, we just have a minute, but what would you say about what this apparent turn means and it can, be, can it be changed around? Yeah, I think it can. And I think we welcome President Biden to be laser focused on the issues that Floridians actually care about, like lowering costs. Um, and as he was, as he stated, you know, we've had some wins on the progressive side. We've got um, Democrats taking back Jacksonville mayor's office. We flipped a seat in a special election, electing Tom Keene in the state house in House District 35 in Central Florida by capturing actually 70 percent of NPA voters. Um, and as was mentioned before as well, 1.2 million signatures across party lines to put limiting government interference with abortion on the ballot this fall. I believe that Florida is in play and for democracy to work, all of our politicians have to be working hard to actually earn our vote regardless of our party, regardless of the registration. And so I believe that the fight for Florida continues. All right. Before